Ma say, chapter 20. After the uproar had ceased, Shaul called the taught ones to him and having embraced them, went away to go to Macedonia. And having gone through those parts and having encouraged them with many words, he came to Greece, where he spent three months. When he was about to sail to Syria, he decided to return through Macedonia as a plot was made against him by the Yehudim. And he was accompanied by Sopata of Baroya, Aristarchos and Secundos of the Thessalonians, and Gaios of Derby, and Timotios, and Tuchikos, and Trophimos of Asia. And these going ahead waited for us at Troas. And we sailed away from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread, and came to them at Troas in five days, where we stayed seven days. And on day one of the week, the taught ones having gathered together to break bread, Shaul intended to depart the next day, was reasoning with them, and was extending the word till midnight. And there were many lamps in the upper room where they were assembled. And a certain man by name, Utuchos, was sitting in the window, being overpowered by a deep sleep. As Shaul kept on reasoning, he was overcome by sleep and fell down from the third story and was picked up dead. And Shaul, having gone down, fell on him, and embracing him, said, Do not be upset, for his life is in him. And going up again, and having broken bread and eaten, he talked a long while, even till daybreak, and so went forth. And they brought the young man in alive, and were encouraged, not a little. And we, going ahead to the ship, sailed to Assos, intending to take Shaul on board there, for so he had arranged, intending himself to go on foot. And when he met us at Assos, we took him on board and came to Metulene. And from there we sailed, and the next day came opposite Chios. And the next day we arrived at Samos, and remained at Trogulian. And the following day we came to Miletos. For Shaul had decided to sail past Ephesos, so that he might lose no time in Asia, but he was hurrying to be at Yerushalayim, if possible, on the day of the festival of Shavuot. And from Miletos, he sent to Ephesos and called for the elders of the assembly. And when they had come to him, he said to them, You know from the first day that I came to Asia, how I was with you all the time, serving a master with all humility, with many tears and trials which befell me, by the plotting of the Yehudim. As I kept back, no matter that was profitable, but proclaimed it to you and taught you publicly from house to house, witnessing to Yehudim and also to Greeks, repentance towards Yah and belief in our master Yahushua Messiah. And see, I go bound in the spirit to Yahushalayim, not knowing what is going to meet me there, except that the set-apart spirit witnesses in every city, saying that chains and pressures await me. But I do not count my life for any value to me, so that I might accomplish my mission with joy in the service which I receive from the Master Yahusha to bear witness to the good news of the favor of Yah. And now see, I know that you all among whom I went about proclaiming the reign of Yah shall see my face no more. Therefore, I witness to you this day that I am clear from the blood of all, for I kept not back from declaring to you all the counsel of Yah. Therefore, take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among which the set-apart spirit has made you overseers, to shepherd the assembly of Yah, which he has purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departure, savage wolves shall come in among you, not sparing the flock. Also among yourselves men shall arise, speaking distorted teachings to draw away the taught ones after themselves. Therefore watch, remembering that for three years, night and day, I did not cease to warn each one with tears. And now, brothers, I commit you to Yah and to the word of his favor, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those having been set apart. I have coveted no one's silver or gold or garments, and you yourselves know that these hands supplied my needs and for those who were with me. All this I did show you by laboring like this, that you ought to help the weak, and remember the words of the master Yahusha that he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. And having said this, he knelt down and prayed with them all. And there was much weeping among them all. And falling on Shaul's neck, they kissed him. 
distressed most of all because of the word which he has said that they would see his face no more and they went with him to the ship.